not welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the Barry Peatling Sports Show. And welcome to you, Colin Sutcliffe. Uh, it's been a very nice day today, but it's still very cold. But uh, the weather's picking up. Thank God. A bit of lovely sunshine. First, we're going to talk about this here. This is a a, a paper that that they didn't they didn't want to show you. No, they didn't know. But I, that's why I put the other photo on the other side. Of that's it. Everybody that knows that was me, yeah. Peatling's absence will swing game in Ararat's favour. That was the last home and away game of the season, Colin. In the last five minutes of the game, I got a stupid whack in the knee. I thought it was nothing. It turned out to be I missed out six weeks, and that was the headline on the following month, Friday before the game. And they kept it away from you, didn't they? The, um, they wouldn't show me the paper. The video. I said, I, the, uh, I said why didn't you show I asked them weeks, and weeks later, I said, oh, we thought we might have upset you about Mm-hmm. I'm sitting with a spark now. With a spark, you're right up. All right, well, let's get into the game. Chelsea versus Mount Eliza. Give us the crowd and conditions. The crowd was pretty good, Kyle. It was, uh, I mean, it wasn't very many people earlier there was, but it just kept building up like it did the week before. But uh, it was a perfect day for football. You mm. couldn't play football on Saturday. You give the whole thing Oh, it was away. a bit like today, wasn't it? No wins. Sun was out. Sun was out. About was eight. 18 degrees. It was quite, quite warm. The, I um, took a jacket down there, take it off straight away. Yeah. Sun was out. Ice cream man was making his money. Mr. Whippy was out. Yeah. He was selling his little whippies. And, um, okay, so the any changes then? You know, out was Guerra. Guerra's out. Yeah, tell me that hamstring, one. yeah. It, it, so he reckons him, because there's a buy next week, so mm. he reckons he'll be right, right for the week after. But he has been going to Flashcon. Mm. I mean, for a was he coaching? Just coaching, was he? Well, I think uh, Grant O'Reilly's been more coaching than anybody else. Mm. You know Grant O'Reilly? Is he the the, the, um, the assistant? He's a, uh, one of the whatever, one of the hierarchy. Yeah. The uh, incumbent was Matty Gardner, Harper. There's a couple on the bench. Matty Gardner, Harper, and Jason Clark. It was a very good inclusion. Jason Clark. Yeah, it's Bradley Clark's brother. Yeah. Probably the, the Clark triplets. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, Luke too. Yeah, but yep. he was playing the second. He might be in the seniors for a couple of weeks. Luke too. Well, give us the um, what happened in the first half. Now the first half they just went crazy. Lockwood and this Van der Ren, who is the leading goal, goal kicker from the competition, mm -hmm. they kicked seven goals. I reckon in about eight and nine minutes. Yep. And we were sort of dumbfounded, and we. Uh, so they just came out. They, bang. That Van Van Newsom, whatever his name is, uh, from. Uh, Man alive, he's a leading, he kicked four goals in the first quarter. He, yeah. kicked, well, he might not kick another goal after the, game, after the first quarter. And Lockwood kicked about two or three too. Scotty Lockwood, he was a superstar the last ten years for Man of Man alive, But we, uh, well, I'll tell you about that, that in the second quarter. But, but we just struggle and um, I was just saying, it looked, looked as though it was going to be a wipeout. It was, but the second quarter, we, we, we started to get back in there at their mojo and uh, Clarkie and Truey, they yep. curtailed Van Nusen and Scotty Lockwood. So we just kept behind, got behind straight off. The first 10 minutes killed us. Yeah, it was. That, that was, that, that's just about one of the game because at half time they were 10-3 to us 5-2. It was a pretty good, and then we started... Uh, so the second half? The second half, we were playing a lot better. Jason Clark and, as I say, Truey and Clarky, they, they were nullifying the two the two gun forwards, and they mm. were doing a fantastic job. But Clarky hasn't played for about three weeks. Of course, Truey's been pretty playing pretty well in the back line the last few weeks. But we had look compared this, that game on Saturday. All the players put in, Colin. Remember I told you? Yeah, last there's few been weeks. some passengers. You well, said last week, and I quote. There was probably half a dozen people who didn't even get a possession. Yeah. And maybe got one or two. And, and the rest of our five got two yeah. or three. And they all put in. It was just, they just gelled. It was, a very, it was good to watch. And, and everybody was think, thinking, uh, like me, after about a quarter of the other game had gone, gonna we're going to get beaten 25 goals. Mm. The way they were just banging them through. Kick them from the sideways and yeah. on the boundary. Uh -huh. But anyway, it, uh, you had a lot of lot of good players, and uh, what was it? Do you know what the difference was at three quarter time? Um, yeah, I, I think it was about um, it, it, it was it was a few goals, and it wasn't about four or five. I think it was eight, thirteen goals to eight, three quarter time. Thirteen five to eight four. Yeah. So we kicked. Uh, we we outscored them in the last two quarters. 
We kicked three goals in the last quarter, and they kicked two goals, six, but uh, you were eight four to thirteen five. I mean, it was. Uh, they're, That's a top, a three, they're the top side. That's the three like. quarter time scores. Yeah. It? So, what was the um, final score at the end? It was about. Um, it was a five goal difference, but. It, uh, those five goals were. Four goals. 15 11 to 11 6. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, look, it was an extraordinary comeback apart from. 72 I mean, to 101 or something. It was probably their best game they played this season, Cole, for sure. I'm telling you even now. their win, despite their win. Well, yeah, they didn't well, play a good game that game, didn't they? No, nah, well, the Seaford can't beat anybody. And, uh, no, I was quite happy, and I think most of the supporters were pretty happy too, and winning the rooms. And But uh, the nine goals to, after quarter time, nine goals to eight goals against the top side is very good. Hmm. They should be quite proud about that. Let's give us an injury update. Yes, Ryan Stewart. I didn't actually see him go down. It was right on the far side of the ground, and uh, apparently I was talking to his father. I said, what happened? He said, oh, I got a knee in the head, but they took him to the hospital, but he came back. Yeah. Said, He's pretty tough. He came back. I said, you all right? He said, yeah. Well, so hospital. It was concussed. Well, well... He'll have to have a week off, I think. Yeah, maybe. Oh, well, he will, probably, because of the um, buy or the interstate or the inter... League. Oh, well, that's yeah. right. It'll, it'll, it'll help him every Yeah, so he'll be all right for the next two Fallen, weeks. Following fortnight, yeah. Uh, give us the goal kickers then, Barry. The goal kickers... What did I put down, Barry Boy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Three goals to Bradley Clark. Played a top game, Bradley mm. Clark. Three goals to... No, I beg your pardon, two goals to Snout. Snout! One to Toddy Gardner, one to Jaden Nadar. He played a good game, Jaden Nadar. It's the best game of the season. One to Benedict, Ben Osborne, one to Nana Potless, and. Didn't Thomas kick a few goals? Is it Thomas? Yeah, he kicked two. Yeah, okay. Hudson Thomas, it might have kicked three, huh? Three, four, five, six. No, he kicked three, I think. Yeah. Played a good game. On, he's playing. He's a full-four playing on the wing. Hmm. Sort of um, like um, what's his name? Revolt. He does that now. He does the um. He's gone to the. He's gone to what the. About, um, what about Alex Rains playing the ruck and leaving Cloaky down there with some first game play yesterday? Can you believe it? A bit risky. Can you Can you believe it? No. I couldn't. Now getting back to the game, but uh, what, just uh, Ryan still went off the cutting. Oh, because yeah, we're going to talk about the best group of best players. The group. Of, Paul Brook, this ruckman, I tell you what, he, yeah, he played guy. a fantastic game, number 35, he was, I give him a big rap after the game, I said, you, you killed him, mate, he was uh, four quarters, mate, he was on his own. Jason Clark, Bradley Clark, Truey, Toddy Gardner, Jay Nadar, Silver, Smout, a lot of good players, Colin, mm -hmm. a lot of good players. So, um, we'll go for the votes then, one vote. One vote to Truey, played a top game all day. And two votes? Two votes, two votes to... Number 35, Paul Brook. And uh, three votes. Three votes to Toddy Gardner, had 32 possessions here. He'd be a runaway winner for the... Um, he is a freak. For I, the, um, I keep saying that. I've got to get another word for that. He, he is a, he's a superstar, he's a freak. He's just a class act. Yeah. Does he... Kick the 50 metre goal in the third quarter. Un 50 metre... Does he hit his targets very well? Never, never waste a target. Never waste a... Well, that's a sign of good play. If you get the disposals... Plus he doesn't you waste it. A bit like Sam Mitchell. Never waste it. A bit like Sam Mitchell and, and uh, 20 hands for time. I think it was 26 kicks, 4 handballs, 2 marks. All effective. Uh, just a gun. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be first row in the league side next week. Don't worry about that. Uh, run through your highlights then. There was some highlights. Look, I'm just, I'm just saying, I wrote them down there. The great fight back after the first quarter is probably the. Really and truly, we should have been beaten by 15, 20 goals the way they played in the first mm. quarter. Look, they might have got a bit cocky too after the first quarter. They were kicking goals from everywhere on the got boundary line, they were hitting everything. Yeah. And, the, and that's just another highlight. The back line are led by Truey and Jason Clark and Jason Adard. That was, uh, they stuck their guns, of course. Toddy Game was just to bring it. And uh, this Cameron Smout. Yeah. He's getting better every week, Colin. We're going to hear a lot more about him. He might win the Rising Star Award for the year. He's not very young, I don't think. Mm. But he. Uh, but he's new to Chelsea, isn't he? Yeah. Smout. Wish he'd change his name to Grouse. 
There was a Wally Grout, wasn't there? Wally Grout, yeah. So, um, any other highlights? No, no, not really. Uh, it's enough of. I must give a big rap of Paul Brook, the way he rapped all. He was non stop in the ruck all day. He's a big unit, too. But he was only second player last week, yeah. uh, last year. Yeah, well, he stepped up a little bit. Who really? Of course, Jacko, he's still not going too fast, Jacko. Yeah. Had him on the wing on Saturday. He's the, forward flank. Jack, he's the other ruckman, or. Yeah. He was the number one ruckman. Number last one year. ruckman. Well, maybe he's on the, on the turn. Well, well, he's pretty agile, but he's, he's just. Not handling the ball very well either because he's you know, dropping marks and uh, if you're coming with Jacko, don't worry about it. So there's um interleague game next week. So who are they playing the week you after? You can ask me where it is too. Yeah, where is it? You can have about 50,000 guess you wouldn't guess where it is. Wagga Wagga? Albury. Albury. Mm-hmm. You going? No, don't think so. Hey, I might reserve and seat me a little plane out the back there. Four hours, four hour trip. Um, you can I play a game... I'll just check it out and make sure. I'm sure I said Aubrey. Some place that. Uh, yeah, Aubrey. This is the who they're playing. I've been to Aubrey. Yeah. Aubrey League or something. Yeah, Aubrey. We're yeah. playing the Adams and Murray. Yeah, that's sort of up there. Wangaratta, Aubrey. Wangaratta? Yeah, that's up that way. Ovens and Murray. Murray River. Aubrey's on the Murray. Yeah, the following week we play uh, Mornington at home. And then we play about 10 games away. Wow. Yeah, we played heaps of games at home. I don't know who organised this draw. That, you know, I'll tell you what this... You're driving for the rest of the season. I'll have to get my uh, map out. I want to. There's, there's four games. Oh, wow. That's that. Mornington in two weeks' time. So, uh, cheerios, Barry. Cheerios, Annie and Carl, and this week they didn't have any blackouts, so that's, that's a world record, Colin, two weeks in a row. I don't know if I mentioned that um, Jan's, Jan's son, Robert, her, daughter, her wife's over there at the moment for a wedding. Cool thing. In the middle of Manila. Manila? Manila. Yeah, I've been to Manila. Yeah. Lovely place, isn't it? Wouldn't think so. It's hot. It's what hot are they there. doing over there? Oh, I don't know. She's, his wife's gone she's over a Filipino. For, for, a, for a wedding, a Filipino, yeah. Oh, what, they're getting actually married in Manila? Uh, well, her relatives live over there, so they're getting married to somebody. So she's gone over for two weddings, actually. I wouldn't actually. get too excited when you going to Manila. Uh, she said it's 36 degrees and humid. Yeah, Annie was telling me it's 40 degrees. Yeah. And 90... And they had a... 98% humidity. They had a typhoon, typhoon or something. Typhoon, you know, well, they might bring one over. Of course, yeah, right. PH, Sandy and Carlos, and... I was talking to PH last week, he's going all right. He still hasn't got... They said in April that they're going to give him a date to get his hernias out. Mm-hmm. In April. Not a scary, yeah. I noticed. Two I, months. I said, hey? Two months later. Yeah, enough, I've heard nothing. I said, what do you do? She said, I've just got to keep waiting. Because he's Lady Sandy, she, she's a nurse in, in a Darwin hospital. And mm-hmm. uh, not Darwin, or uh, Cairns hospital. One day, they, one day you might get your operation done. Phil, that was pretty quick. Of course, Jerry, he... Uh, He's Phil's best mate. He's a apparently he's a good fellow. One day I'll, I'll meet you, Jerry, because you sound like a very good fellow. I'll get up there. I might get up to Cairns one weekend and have a look. I might fly up there myself, but my arms might get a bit tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they might. Might get flapping all the way up there. But anyway, and of course Tony from Latvia is back on business, back in business. Colin, check back on board. He's a. Uh, I don't know what he does up there. Tony, let me know. Send me an email. Tell me what you do up there. I'm just in, very curious what you're doing up there. Yeah. There's not much work up there, is there? Um, pretty, I don't know. Pretty, pretty, crazy, pretty crazy place. Don't know what they do. Mining? In Latvia? Yeah. Do they? Copper mines or something. But anyway, but, uh, well, he must, he must like he's been there for three years. Hmm. But that's just, might might uh, be a drug lord or something. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But I don't, that's just about all. I was going to mention something else one night. I must have forgot, but it uh, must have been a lie. Mm. But anyway, P.O., so I'll be speaking to you in a couple of weeks. I hope everything goes all right with your... Uh, operation. Your bloody operation. You've been waiting seven months, gone. Crazy. And he, every time he... What's in the, the problem? When he's standing, he's all right. I think it was when he's sitting down. Yeah. I'm just the opposite. I'm, when I'm sitting down, I get the, the aggravation. 
That's when he stands. That's when he's walking. Wow. But we'll both get our things fixed up eventually, Phil. So, see you next week. Goodbye. For Bye me? To... Bye for me. See you next week. Yeah, back to front. Bye-bye. The first quarter of it let us down, just fuck one quarter to go, okay? Let's just go for it, alright? Even numbers all over the ground. So, Mids, when you look up, you're not going to see a spare back there, okay? So, just get it going forward. Let's just play on at all costs. Hutto's taking marks down there. Curtis is putting on pressure, okay? We've got to go for it here. Five goals isn't a lot. Who's going to stand up in this first five minutes? We need someone to from the midfield. Stand up tall and get it going our way. Win that first hard ball. Okay? Matty done a great job down back, mate. Okay. Okay. Matty, keep working, keep at it. Don't tackle him, Matty. Keep at it, Matty. This first 10 minutes will show me how much you boys want this game. It's Who's right. going to put their head in the hole to win that hard ball and get it going our way? Chelsea. Hutto, <laughs> take a mark up there, mate. Let's get the group going. Let's get the first goal. All right? Green in, green in. I've got so much belief in you boys that we can overrun this side. Okay? They've got no petrol tickets left. None. You could see that in that second half of that quarter. We're right in the taking here to run over them. Come on, boys. Let's get out there and put on a bullet. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well done, Hutto. Well done, Hutto. Yeah. Very good, mate. 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 Shit out the numbers. We're one and four. Do you think I'll be happy if we get 20 to train on Tuesday and Thursday night? Not at all. We're going to stick at it. It's not a holiday. It's just a rest. We're still going to get to training and work hard. We get a bit of work in on Thursday night. Okay, we'll rest up a bit Tuesday. Train Thursday, we won't do anything on the Saturday, okay, but if, if we have 20, 25 to have the train track Tuesday, Thursday, I'll make sure every single one of you are here on the Saturday. So I'm leaving it up to you boys to get everyone down on the train track. The only way we're going to get better. So, week off next week, I'll be back in the week after, ready and stew, you'll play obviously more of the game. So there's three leaders back into the game the following week, okay? So, let's stick together. I know we had a good night last Saturday night. Let's stick together though. Over the weekend, and let's get everyone to try and do that Tuesday, Thursday, all right? Yeah, boys. 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 Every young boy, every young boy, fuck off too early. Let's get straight up.